Hey guys, news about Absinthe 2.0 has been released and I'm going to talk to you guys about it. And how the demo and all that stuff was happening. Okay, a hacker, which is, he states that he knows Pi2J very well and he, he's been working with him. I don't know much about him, I just found out about him once he released the demo video. But well, he posted a video of showing the actual jailbreak for 2.0. And what what we've seen about it, even though it was bad quality since he recorded from his phone, was that it's just gonna be it's gonna have the same layout as Abstinence, the first one for A5 device. The only difference is like as in display and how the application works or the program, whatever you wanna call it, looks like. It's gonna say Dev Chronic Dev Team Abstinence, and it will say version 5.1. Point one on the side, and then Absinus 2.0 on tethered. That's what it is. And then <coughs> the devices that are going to be supported as of right now. I'm going to tell you each and every one is the iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPhone 4 CDMA, iPhone 4S, iPad 1, Wi Fi 3G, whatever, iPad 2 Wi Fi, iPad 3 <coughs> CDMA. Um, iPad 3 Wi-Fi, iPad, iPad 3 CDMA, iPod 3G, and iPod 4G. I'm going to repeat that again because I think I messed up in one of them. iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPhone 4S, um, CDMA and GSM, iPhone 4, CDMA, GSM, and um, the iPad 2, the first generation iPad, the iPad 2, GSM, and <coughs> CDMA. And then iPad 3 Wi Fi and CDMA. iPad Touch 3rd generation and 4th generation. The devices that are not going to be supported are iPad 2 Wi Fi R2, which I would guess that's the newest model of the iPad 2. And then iPad 3 Global, which I'm not sure what that is. And then Apple TV 2. And then I've read from other posts that the iPad, well, Apple TV 3 is not going to work either. Since the 2 is not going to work, the 3 is not going to work either. And the jailbreak will consist of 5 minutes. As I saw from it, like the whole jailbreak process is going to consist of five minutes, and it's just going to be the same as Abstinence, the first one that was released for the A5 devices, that you won't have to go to DFU mode or touch your device. You just plug it in, click jailbreak, and let it do its thing. It'll load the bar, it'll put it in restore mode, it will spring it, or well, reboot it with the jailbreak on it. But once your device is done rebooting, you cannot touch your device. I was going to say that don't touch or whatever. And then it will spring and then you'll see the city icon. And you're finished. Also, I wanted to talk about... I saw this post from Red Snow, Lime Rain, whatever you want to call it. It's, I, admit, I believe it has been taken down. But as I'm seeing from right now, it's called Red Snow. That Stephen Esser Ionic was talking about... Well, I'm going to quote what he read. Theatrical timing says that the iOS 5.1.1 jailbreak will be released on Friday during the HITB talk of the Dream Team, which is at some conference of hackers and Muscle Nerd, Dev Team, Pa2G, many other hackers are going to go there. I believe that's the Hack in the Box conference. Yeah, it is. That's what it stands for. Yep. The Hack in the Box conference and they will be discussing the jailbreak and more likely it's going to be he's going to discuss it and I believe that's going to be this Friday I'm not sure and once I look into it I'll put in the comments the description but put in the comments and tell me what do you think about this video and all your questions and my questions like is it really going to be released on Friday and I saw this post also that oh we're still going to be re I mean the jailbreak is going to be released a few hours from now which I read that post yesterday which is kind of weird I don't understand that either so Redstone 2. Abstinence 2.0 also that just like last year or whenever it was released the it's going to be released in first is going to be for the Mac and then for Windows but they're going to release the Mac version, then they're going to release the CLI version, which is they'll give you Synject in um, Rinrar file or whatever. You have to use Rinrar to extract it, and then you have to put in commands and stuff into um, 
the command prompt window and then you'll jailbreak your device. You'll have to install a profile and all that stuff. So I'll make a video of both of those versions unlike I did before for the CLO and actual tool program. Alright guys, this is Fast Diablo signing off.